Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. How are you? I just got my morning drink. And guess what? It's spring. Welcome to the conversation. Are you planting any seeds yet? Have you taken advantage of your winter, which is a time of self-reflection to kind of hibernate, right? Like the bears do. We follow nature. You can hibernate, take some time to think, take some time to gather your thoughts, take some time to do some self-inventory. What new decisions or choices do you need to make in order to see the results you want to see? And then you come out of that self-introspection, right? You take that time and then you come in. Hey, y'all, welcome to the conversation. And then you come into spring, baby. Welcome to spring, where we get a chance to plant new seeds, turn over the soil, till the thoughts, the, the vision in our mind, give ourselves some focus, water it with your attention, and get some things to happen. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the conversation. Thank you, Naliji. What up, Harold? How you doing, darling? Y'all got y'all morning drink on deck? I'm trying to get some air up in the car. I'm, I'm a little warm, okay? I'm a little warm. Let me see. It's nice and warm in here. How's everybody doing? Welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. So today, I wanted to talk to you about the springtime. Spring is upon us, you guys. And spring is a great time, right, to plant seeds. We are getting the garden ready so that by the time we hit the summertime, we are just managing the garden. We're keeping the weeds out, right? <laughs> but right now we got to plant those seeds. We got to turn over, over the soil in our mind, turn over the soil in our vision. When is the last time you revi revisited your goals? Do you know where you're going? Do you know what you want right now? Not from the past. Have you put your goals in front of yourself? Hey, y'all. Have you put your goals in front of yourself in the now? What do you want? If you want to, we can we can get it in today. Y'all can pull out a piece of paper right now. <laughs> Use your smartphone or whatever smart device you might have around you and write down your goals real quick. Like if you were to just rattle them off, because sometimes we don't even realize that our goals are not on the forefront of our mind. And so you don't even know why you're not getting more progress. It's because it's not on the forefront of your mind. We've got everything else around us kind of distracting us and giving it the opportunity to take our attention and focus. And that's exactly what you need. That is the commodity that you need. Focus in order to make things happen, in order to stay the course. Because guess what? There's so many distractions. Social media. Hello. Right? Um, uh, gossip. Hello. Um, you know, negative, negative conversations on a regular basis that keeps you focused in a lower vibration of being, keeps you operating, being in a lower vibration of being, Ugh. right? How can you attract good from that space? Great quote I came across from one of the mentors of the past, Jim Rohn, wonderful information. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. Ha! Huh. Let it land, right? We can have more than we currently have because we have the opportunity to become more than we currently are. So what does that tell us in that very profound statement? To me, it says that so much of our success comes from our personal development, comes from who you become. Not from what you're getting outside of yourself. Not from what somebody else is giving to you. If we bring more value to the marketplace in who we are, and bringing more value to the marketplace be means becoming a greater version of yourself. What more do you have to offer as far as value is concerned to the marketplace or just in your beingness, just in who you are? Even if that means releasing more judgment. Because if you're not so judgmental, you're probably going to open yourself up to greater relationships. You may not shut so many people out of your life so quickly. You may meet more people because you're not judging them and putting them in a box the second you meet them. So even just releasing more judgment could be a greater version of yourself. Uh, what's another way that we can self-develop? so that we become a greater version of who we are, so that we become more valuable to the marketplace and you make more of the money that you wanna make. We become more to get more. Hey y'all, welcome to the conversation. Let me see what you're saying. Let's see what you're saying. Good morning, Derek, Naliji. Uh, Shanika says, yes, I totally took advantage of the winter hibernation. Bless up. Good morning, Shirley, Lindola, Nalaja. Hey baby, thank you, Trey. 
Um, let's see, what'd you say? You think you need some paper? Beautiful, because we're about to write down our goals. Hey, Jorday. Naliji says, good morning, PPU family. Got my goals and dreams and journal on deck. Bless up. Welcome to the conversation, Charles Bivens. Hey, everybody who hasn't said hello yet, how are you? You got your morning drink on deck? We about to get it in. It's the springtime, baby. Okay. If you have a piece of paper or something, some writing utensil, okay? I want you to take 30 seconds. Let me just see how gangsty y'all are. Let me see how connected you are to your dreams and your visions and goals. Write down what it is you want right now. Juanita, welcome to the conversation, beautiful. Write down your dreams, your vision for your life. What do you desire for yourself today? 2019, what's today's date? The 25th? What do you desire today? What is it that you want? Where are you going? Write it down. Happy birthday to Claire. Y'all rattling them off? You writing them down? Take advantage of this time. Let me tell you how powerful it is to write down your goals, you guys. There's something about engaging all of our faculties, physical, speaking it, mental focus, right? Having all of these things. Hey, Danny, welcome to the conversation. Having all of these things working together can further anchor this information, this focus in your body, this level of attention right? Also, think about it. If you aren't focused on where you're going or what you desire, can't something else come in and take your focus? Because it's like an idle brain. What if they say the, 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 uh, the idle mind is the devil's playground? If you don't have focus, something will gladly come and take it for you and point it in the direction that it wants it to go. So that is why it is so important for you to have your stuff at the forefront of your mind. Where are you going? And then you can't be so easily distracted and pulled. And if your goals ain't juicy enough, beef them up, baby. Because that's what's going to push you to go and make it happen. If it doesn't push you, in, if pain isn't driving it or pleasure, meaning, let's say that, you know, what, what's the painful part of not accomplishing your goals? What's the pain on the other side of not doing what you say you want to do for yourself in order to accomplish what you want to accomplish? You know, if it's a weight goal, is it that you're going to have health issues? Is it that you're going to not be here? Is it going to take you out? Are you not going to be here for your kids? Are you not going to be able to pursue a goal because you're too focused on trying to stay well enough to even go after a goal? Do you guys know the privilege it is to go after a goal? That's why health is like one of the greatest commodities on earth. I remember when I was challenged with my health, you guys know this, back in 2014, and they had to remove that melanoma cancerous mole. And I was like, they were like, we got to make sure that we test your tissues and it's not someplace else in your body. And the, the, the main focus until that surgery was get your, get your health in order, bro. Reprogram your, your subconscious mind. Where is stuff coming from? Clean some stuff out. I was totally focused on health. Goals were secondary. Health was primary. So it is, it, health is, is the biggest commodity, one of the biggest commodities. Think about the people across the world who are more focused on how to get clean water for the day. It may take them 16 hours to get clean water for the day. That's the goal. That's the last thing you're worried about here for the most part is getting clean water. That's not a goal of yours. So it is a luxury that we, are, we have been afforded to be able to go after a goal. So just from that perspective, it's like, let me take advantage of the, the, the divine space that has been created for me to have more, to be more, to do more. And that's why I think it's even, uh, it's important to give back from that space because how many people need it? How many people are, are trying to actualize something and they don't even know what their choices are beyond what they're currently looking at because it's just so consuming. How do I get something to eat? So this is about teaching a man to fish. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Uh, let's see. Thank you for the beautiful compliments, you guys. Spencer says, what advice do you have for someone who is trying to write a book but not able to get a lot of time to focus on it? Chip away at the goal. So how many of you will admit that you at least have 15 minutes a day? at least 15 minutes that you could just siphon off and focus on your goal. 
I would I venture to say we have a lot more because half of us spend 15 minutes frivolously on social media looking at somebody else's agenda and thoughts and whatever keeping it 100 right we have a lot more time than we're giving ourselves credit for and I also want to point this out everybody is operating with 24 hours in the day Warren Buffett Jay-Z whoever the, the greatest CEO I don't care who you're thinking about nobody gets more time they just don't everybody's working with the same 24 hours so if that's the case how are they pulling it off and we're not somehow some way they are making a sacrifice in an area that maybe they don't necessarily want to it's not it doesn't feel good it's not the most comfortable it's not the most convenient but it's necessary and because they're willing to sacrifice for the long haul for the marathon they're not waiting for the sprint a lot of people want their goals like this and sometimes your goals are just not sprint type of goals. They're marathon goals. But if you if you got a sprint mindset, you're going to quit early. Right? A lot of your goals are more marathon oriented. So if you if you rework that your your mindset saying, "You know what? This is a marathon, it's not a sprint." Let me go ahead and continue building on who I am. Let me let me keep chipping away every day. I've been writing a book with my partner from Amsterdam for over a year now I'm chipping away at the goal now can you imagine if I was like I gotta have this book done right now uh, I would have probably given up on the goal because some goals are just marathon goals yeah I want to have it done by here but you know what it ain't done right here so it's gonna be done here chip away so if you got 15 minutes sit in front of a writing utensil you guys every day excuse me um if you got more, I think most people have 30 minutes. I always recommend at least 30 minutes. Sit in front of a computer, sit in front of a writing pad, whatever it is you use in order to get your creativity out, in order to express yourself. And take the pressure off. Meaning, if you don't write a word, make it okay. What I want you to do initially is just to make sure you siphon off the time to do it. So if it's 30 minutes that you have, sit down in front of your book and just commit to the 30 minutes. And if you say, I'm going to at least write five words today, write them. Guess what? You can always go back and tweak it. You can always go back and fix it. But don't let that mental, negative mental chatterbox, that sensor that each of us can have, some louder than others, right? Don't let that thing get in there and, and, and critique everything that's coming out of your fingers to write. Because that's where we start overwhelming ourselves and shutting down. I want you guys to just trust that whatever comes out is very purposeful and necessary for that day. Even if you don't end up using it, just let it flow. Come up with a plan. Okay, I got a book. Let me do the table of contents today. Boom. Beautiful goal. Right? Okay, now I got the table of contents out. What's the beginning, middle, and end uh, of this book if it's fiction? If it's nonfiction, what do I want someone to take away from this book because I've written it? What would I like for them to have because I've taken the time to write this book? Get clear about that. Write it down. That's great for the day. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, make these little incremental um, goals that you can get to and then just chip away at it every day. Commit to 30 minutes a day, five days a week. You can do that. Take away from the frivolous, you know, web surfing or, you know, like wasted time on social media or the gossipy conversation that's really not <laughs> feeding your dreams, is really not feeding the next level of who you can be. Take away time from that stuff. Sacrifice for that 30 minutes, five days a week. And then think about what's on the other side of my sacrifice. What is what am I achieving on the other side of my sacrifice? What will I be looking at? Who will I have become? Hello, we can have more than we have if we become more. Who will I have become because I followed through? Superpower. You know how I talk about that. Superpower. Follow through. Nalaja, if she's still in this conversation, congratulations, honey. Just finished her book. And she's like, yo, coach, follow through. I'm like, yes. And she gets to celebrate that she followed through. She gets to celebrate that she gave she gave herself the gift of finishing her book no matter that she wrote it for other people no matter who's going to get it all we're going to do is just trust that who's supposed to get it is going to get it but thank you thank you that you follow through for yourself because now you can build on that that's successful living follow through got that complete that's a success next thing follow through got that complete that's a success that is successful living you guys okay let me see what y'all are saying because you know i'm running off at the mouth Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry. 
y'all know I got real jankified up in here. All right. Um, Warren Buffett, read 500 pages a day. Gangsta. Okay. Um, hey, Nashua, welcome to the conversation, honey. A marathon mindset, not a sprint mindset. Y'all better write these quotes in here. Happy Monday, everybody. Okay. Nalaja says to make, oh, there's my girl, to make uh, my entertainment consulting company so successful that I won't have to work for anyone else, to be a successful author and own my production studio and want to get my book just released. Come on, mama. Just was talking about you in the hands of those that can really benefit from it for their healing. Speak on it. She put her goals in the, in the um, chat. Who else is bold enough to put their goals in the chat? Speak it into existence. Write it down. Get all of your physical faculties working on your behalf. Right? Bless up. Nashua, I would love to have my book. Then let's get to it, mama. Right? Follow through, baby. Okay. Let's see. Shirley says, yes, I did not have my own new post ready for today, but it did not have the inspiration until yesterday. And I was writing because I thought you can post it later. And that helped. Beautiful. Just keep going. Coach Drop. <laughs> hey, Shamika. Welcome to the conversation, sweetheart. Let me let me undo this uh, thing before it overheats this phone. My goodness. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, Ryan says, Rona, I'm really enjoying this conversation. Bless up, honey. Yes, thank you. You teaching me your magic is on the other side of your follow through was everything. Come on. Ew, yes. These are things that bring me joy. Rona, love and watching from Denver, Colorado. Welcome to the conversation, David. Uh, Deacon Charles Jackson says, what's up, coach? What up, Deacon Charles? And love to be debt free. Speak on it. So um, debt free people. If something called excuse me the millionaire mind intensive comes to your city go to the seminar it is by a company called peak potentials it was started by a gentleman named t harp ecker i'm not sure if he's still the owner of the company he probably is but i think um Adam, I forget Adam's last name. He's the CEO now. When I went to see this seminar back in 2011, Adam was a, a lawyer that had become a, co a training coach for them, but was not the CEO yet. I feel blessed that I got trained by him at that time because little did we know he was getting ready to be the man, but I knew it was something so super duper special about this cat as he was teaching. And I pulled so much away from this free seminar for three days. Now they got some marketing gurus in there, honey. If you're not careful, you're going to want to walk out of there with everything they're selling you. But if you just take the information that they're giving you off face value and apply it, you've gotten enough. Turn my financial picture around. When I, not to say that that's it, but I believe in throwing my whole self at something if I'm trying to fix it. If it's love, go to love seminars, read love books, talk about love, immerse yourself in love, wear love stones. You feel me? Immerse yourself in what it is you want to change. If it's money, learn about money, how to become a better money manager, how to um, uh, start to save more. What's the power behind saving? What's the power behind investing? What ways can you invest? Don't just invest in something because somebody said it was cool and good. I did that and lost a whole bunch of money. Green than green. And guess what? It came from like a family friend. So those are the ones we really got to be careful with because you think, oh, it's family friend. I can just trust it. I'm not saying you can't, but do your own research. Do your own research. Yeah. Okay, let me see what y'all saying. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Zoe. Therese says, my goal is I'm getting ready for May 5th. My sister uh, Rafika wedding is coming up, and I can't wait to see my sister and the rest of my family. Bless up. Shanika says, I want to do a whole project with another artist, not in my crew, and it's definitely in the works. You know my little self came. Hey, now get it in, mama. Nashua says, how you start your first page? Let's see. And if you write your book, don't you need a ghostwriter? If you don't feel com confident in your writing skills, quite possibly you guys just want to come up with an incredible mission statement for what you want the people to take away from the book. If you have specific characters that are in the book, give those characters to the person and their backstory. Give them life. Um, also, give, give a beginning, middle, and end. Where do you want the story to go? right give those very particular details to your ghost writer so that they know what's going on and then collaborate with them and co-write the book how about that all right 
Shanika says, definitely want to continue to work on my health so I can travel more and buy myself and, and, and so be it. So be it. And I see you doing the work. Very proud of you. Uh, hey, Ronald. Shirley says, beside, I'm going to reach my weight goal this year. Okay. I'm also doing anything to get myself to, ha ha, no, I know, I know, you got to get to Vegas, baby. This year, our uh, PPU retreat and vacation for my online coaching school will be in Las Vegas. Ah! We're going to have so much fun. It's going to be even more amazing than last year. We were in Orlando, Florida. And then Stella Fairley says, I'm working on my health. It takes a lot of sacrifice, but I know it's worth it. Absolutely. Health. <laughs> That's why you hear so many people, especially as they mature. Uh, say that it's one of the most important things ever because without it it can be consuming I mean you know you can't do certain things if you if you lose mobility if you gotta you know uh, be on top of a schedule in order for for medications and da -da 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 -da. It can it can be a distraction over time right so so taking care of ourselves is huge and also taking care of yourself gives you more of the energy you need to go after your dreams especially if you have a nine-to-five because you're going to need to moonlight, work on the side with your dream until you can manifest it alongside your nine to five or whatever, your eight to whatever. You feel me? So give your eat, eat right. Uh, work on your mindset. Work on your spiritual self so that everything gets an in integrity with itself so that you can give yourself the support and the energy you need to push through. Okay, I ain't giving y'all no more. I, we ain't going <laughs> to. This was good. This was good. Welcome to spring, everybody. Here's to planting great seeds. If you didn't take advantage of your winter, take a second today. Take a second this week to think about, do some self-inventory. What have I accomplished? What haven't I accomplished? What habits have I picked up that are working against me? What new habits do I need to pick up that are going to help me to get the results I want to see in my life? Do some self-inventory. And then once you do that, write it down so it's in plain sight so you see what it is, right? Get your morning routines together, you guys. If you want to talk about that, you know that was something I used to talk about a lot uh, over the year and a half that we've been doing this. But if we need to get back to the basics, like, let's get back to the basics. Those are the building blocks to a strong and solid foundation for success. How are you starting your morning? Where is your mind and your focus, right? And then we have just gotten into spring. What seeds are you planting? What vision are you nurturing? What attention are you, where, where's your attention at? You know, who are you surrounded by? What is your circle talking about? Right? It's springtime, baby. So happy spring. Thank you, Nashua. And I want everybody to have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Until next week, Morning Talks with Ro. Signing off. Let me see what Nalaja, can I just tell you how amazing your morning talks with Ro are? I'm not going to lie. Applying the jewels you drop wasn't always easy. Um, oh, wow. Because I had uh, to face and overcome certain doubts. But once you, wow. Uh-oh, let's see. What did I do? Okay, once you chip away. Um, Uh-oh, all, ki all kinds of messages are coming in. My goodness. Um, once you chip away, by the time you look up, it's too late to stop anything because the goal is already accomplished. Speak on it. Just booked to sell my books at Women's Empowerment Luncheon at the end of this month. Two your words are real, mamas. Yay! Congratulations. So proud of you. Okay, Danny says, my goal for right now is to work on my self-esteem and not to worry so much what others think of me and stop letting that hold me back and to stay focused on what I need to do for me. You previously said... Um, what's that? To work on what you need, not what you want. Mm, I need to grow and I am my own spring in progress. Come on, y'all better speak. Mita says, working on my total uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, and financially. Bless up. If you get that in, in integrity with itself, come on. That is an up level, man. I cannot tell you the beauty uh, and the gift that you give to yourself when we do self-development work. It's the greatest project on earth, in my humble opinion. Like you, the better you become, the better your the results you can see in your life. More value you're bringing to the marketplace. More incredible people you get an opportunity to meet. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoo, awesome. Okay. Shirley says, I have my goal planner and it helps me every day to stay focused on my goals and vision. Bless up, beautiful. I keep telling her that, okay? <laughs> I love it. 
Oh my goodness, you're amazing, Coach Roy. We love you. I love you back. Thank you, Shanika. Okay, you guys, have a blessed day. Thank you for always inspiration and knowledge. You got it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for um, you know, contributing to the conversation like you normally do. We all get to grow and stretch in perspective when you do that. I will see you guys next week for Morning Talks with Ro. Happy Monday. Happy spring.